Good morning, good day to all of you. My name is Sarah Pearls of Wisdom and Food. And um, we appear to have a little brewing controversy. Uh-oh! <laughs> I saw the um, Oprah ad that um, had um, Oprah touting the bread and losing the 26 pounds. And then um, it's posted on my Facebook page the open letter to Oprah from Dr. William Davis, the wheat belly doctor. So there's just some controversy and it will be interesting to see how it plays out. Of course, you know the team that I'm on and um, in full disclosure, I did lose weight um, on the Weight Watchers program and I was having bread and then I stalled and I thought the stalling was where my maintenance began. Bulletproof, and then when I um, began to have my low carb, high fat uh, plan, the uh, ten to fifteen pounds went whooshing out. So anyway, um, it's controversy. I'll be reading it. I'm sure. I'm not going to enter into the fight with you guys because I've done both, and I promote both. And in a recent video, I said if you are new to wanting to lose weight, I believe that the Weight Watchers program. Um, especially maybe if you go to meetings and there's a leader there, will give you the structure and um, the discipline that you need. Um, after I decided to give up Weight Watchers and save my money for books, which is what I've, I'm doing, because um, I do like my Kindle library of knowledge, I did get the bulletproof roadmap of foods that um, one can eat when having low carb, high fat, and in addition, I am waiting. I am awaiting my Wild Diet book from Amazon with Abel James because it has recipes in it. I prefer to have the book, um, so then I can have the book in front of me when I'm cooking. But um, so anyway, it's it it is what it is. And all I know is that what works for me is right now the low carb, high fat. Is it sustainable? You bet. It is. Um, high protein, whoops, excuse me, that's exactly what it isn't. It is not high protein, it is high fats, meaning coconut fat, olive oil, grass-fed butter, and um, the fat that comes on animal protein. And I am totally satisfied. Oh, in addition to nut butters, I love my nut butters. And um, like Abel James, I add full-fat um, dairy to my food plan, which basically means cheese and... Um, full-fat yogurt and um, I'm not a milk drinker I drink coconut milk and I only have that with my bulletproof smoothie uh, bulletproof coffee in the morning and I drink it it's kind of like a latte by the time I get done whipping it <coughs> so today I have a vacation day and then tomorrow off and then Saturday off so I am delighted and I will be in my lose it doing my food I am going to be making an Irish stew this morning and um, never made one before and I, I am one of those that does like lamb some people don't like lamb and I made the lamb shanks last week so we do like the lamb products at this house um, even lamb patties ground lamb patties on the egg so that's that's my food thing I will be shopping later today I did get some organic um, chicken thighs and chicken and um, Italian sausage, pork Italian sausage sweet um, at Stop and Shop Nature's Promise and it was either on sale last week or this week but it's in the freezer and I will be pulling that out to have um, this week as well so I'm kind of excited and I'm kind of excited to have my days off. I'll be walking today. I left for my walk yesterday but then it began to pour and I didn't have a hoodie and I always wear hoodies which is kind of funny in the winter but this particular day I didn't, so um, I only got half of my walk in. So how are you doing? Are you tracking? Are you weighing and measuring? So, so, so important. And um, I hope so. And um, it's funny because with my nutrition groups at, at my shelter, I'm starting to get sheepish, sheepish looks when I walk by a client and they're having something that would not be on um, my food list or perhaps your food list. So it's, it's just interesting. I love awareness and it comes, it's just, you know, it's, it's slow with food. 
of course, but, um, you know, how I honor that. And I'm just planting seeds. And that's what we do, right? We learn a little bit at a, at a time. And I don't know if any of you have have been able to watch the Weston Price videos, but they're just very simple, and I love the pantry intervention. Um, and I love her pauses, as I said, through it, because you can almost take notes about what she's, what she's having, and she's such a gentle soul, <clears throat> which, if you've heard one of, my smack, one of my smackdowns, you know that I'm not always a gentle soul. So, um, yeah, a lot of bathroom chats this week, I guess. Things are kind of in order for me. Um, I'm, I'm content. Things are good. House is in order. I have company coming today for a little chat visit, so that's kind of fun. So, um, what was I going to do? Um, I guess when I walk, you know, when I listen to a, um, a podcast, I usually come back and jot down something to give me a topic. But um, I've got my little post-its right here, and the one on the top is, If Your Grandmother. And I remember that podcast, and it was basically, if your grandmother wouldn't recognize it as an edible food, um, but the food manufacturers today do call it an edible food, and that's all it is, is edible. It doesn't necessarily mean nutritious. So if your grandmother wouldn't recognize it as a food, then don't eat it. And that would probably mean to me packaged, processed, highly refined flours and sugars, junk you know, or bags, like Doritos and things like that. Um, they had the Doritos effect. I think Dr. Oz had them on the other day. And um, I'd like to hear more from him from than just the Doritos effect. But anyway, that's it. That's all I'm saying. If your grandmother wouldn't recognize it, much less eat it, then don't you buy it and don't you eat it. I like that advice, and I'm an old lady. So um, that works for me, and I am a grandmother. And there's a lot of things I don't recognize out there. Um, I'm so busy buying what I do buy that I really don't scan to see all the new things. But the cereals are scary because I do peruse those because I do um, WIC shopping, which is women, infants, and children shopping, where they um, allow usually 36 ounces of certain cereals. And there's little tags along with the price, and it says if it's allowed on WIC. And I think my thought, I haven't been to WIC meetings, but I think my thought is if it doesn't contain high fructose corn syrup, that um, it is allowed. Because I have bought some, I think, frosted mini wheats um, for the ladies. Okay, I'm guilty. And, um, but there's no high fructose corn syrup. And how do you like the Cheerios? Aren't they touting themselves as the gluten-free product of the century? Kind of interesting if you've been um, just paying attention to food and labeling and marketing and so that so Cheerios could hold their footing in the market and still sell chocolate Cheerios and call them gluten-free. It's just all so interesting and I know you little educated tribes people that um, are watching here and listening and learning will also see some of those products there too and um, it's just interesting. The Poisoning of America brought to you by the food manufacturers and it will be taken care of by the prescribing doctors of America that are in the pharmaceutical pockets. It's just a great world out there. <laughs> just love it. So if it doesn't have a label on it, it must be good for you. That's, that's you know, that's an apple. That's a banana. That's an organic berry. I love food. And, and yes, they do have labels like Okay, guilty. Coconut oil has a label. Grass-fed butter sometimes has a label, although I don't, yeah. So they have labels, but they're single ingredients. And um, they're, not as, they're not as tampered with as some of the other products. So, watch the pantry intervention on Weston Price if you really care about what you're eating. It will really help you. And um, have a wonderful day. If your grandmother wouldn't recognize it as a food, don't buy it and don't eat it. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. Bye-bye for now.